Ho 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 is an Apple II game that I'll be reviewing today. This is actually the only Christmas themed game I have for the system. As you can see, the cover features a pixelated Santa, so no false advertising here. What you see is what you get. And this actually has a double-sided disc. You can play it on the Apple II or flip it and play it on the Commodore 64. Perhaps Microsoft and Sony will adopt a similar strategy. Now this is a multi-stage arcade style game. It features five family Christmas games. The packaging isn't terribly impressive, but it does include the essential five and a quarter inch floppy disk with the Apple II side and Commodore 64 side. The manual features the same artwork as the cover, the giant pixelated Santa, but also included is the registration card. I always love it when they have those, I don't know why. Let's just take a quick look at the manual. And looks pretty decent, it's got some nice artwork. Granted it's in black and white, but hey, I'm happy to even have any book with it, so that's good enough. Let's take a look at the game. Ah, the most lovely sound in the world. Now the very first thing I discovered on booting up the game is that apparently I don't own it. It belongs to the Farron's family. Well, this could be awkward. Now David H. Schroeder was the developer, best known for Crisis Mountain and Dino Eggs, and the game was published by Random House. Now Ho 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 has a menu screen that I think is somewhat similar to Mega Man in that you can select any level that you want out of order, or you can play them all in sequence. There's also two forms of difficulty, Elf and Gnome, which I have to say have a huge disparity between them, with Gnome being extremely challenging. Now the first game is Santa's Reindeer Game, and the object here is to corral the disembodied reindeer heads with a disembodied Santa head. That's my own description, I think they may have worded it differently in the manual. It actually gets pretty intense though because you have a time limit, and the reindeer heads like to hide around obstacles, resulting in some frustrating situations. Oh, come on, I'm gonna get it. Look at this. I'm right on the tail end of it. Come on. Oh, just an inch away. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Son of a bitch. You do have a slide move that speeds you up considerably, but you can't stop it until you hit a wall or win the stage. Capturing a deer gives you a time bonus, and then you're thrust into the next stage for a total of five stages per game. I should also mention Santa has an interesting idle stance. Now the cookie game is probably the second most challenging of the games. This involves you playing as one of Mrs. Claus's helpers and you're tasked with decorating the cookies with an icer and then serving them with a spatula. Now you have to do all this while avoiding the stretchy arms. I discovered the hard way they are not there to help you. And you also have to do this under the aggressive time limit. Now when you lose a game, you get an option to play again, which I instinctively thought meant play that same round again. But no, you're starting back at the beginning. No continues. In the gift factory stage, you're trying to kick the packages into the same colored holes. I don't know what's up with the game and its obsession with stretchy limbs, but that's the object. And you're not supposed to kick the toys. As fun as it is to do, you get a major time penalty for doing it. In Light the Christmas Tree, you're trying to catch the falling stars, which give you temporary ability to light portions of the tree up. What's really nice is you can set traps for the stars, and if they land on the trap, then it illuminates a huge portion of it, saves you a lot of time. As you can see, you once again play as a disembodied character, Mrs. Claus, but what's very fascinating is the game actually gives her a name. Yes, it's official. According to this game, Mrs. Claus's first name is Cinda. So there you go, mystery solved. Thanks to Ho Ho Ho. For the final game, Santa's Big Show, you can put your joystick away because all you need are four keys on the keyboard. One, two, three, four. All you're doing is you're hitting the key that corresponds to the image that Santa's close-up is on. And that's it. Not really that much fun. It's also probably the most difficult, but for the wrong reasons. 
Sometimes I'll get lucky and I'll have enough time to select him. But sometimes he's only on there for the smallest fraction of a second. Just not enough time for me to get close. In elf mode, things are much easier, and your reward for beating the game? Well, it's to hear some wonderful Christmas music played through your 8-bit Apple II speaker, or SID chip if you're running this on a Commodore 64. But then you wouldn't hear this clearly superior musical arrangement. I mean, there's a reason the Commodore version's on side 2. Heh <laughs> Sarcasm. Well, thanks for watching, and happy holidays.